Hey, what's up? My name is Kyle and this is my YouTube channel where I talk about my eBay reselling business where I go to thrift stores, yard sales, garage sales, and more to buy things cheap that I can sell online for a profit. So last week I was talking a lot about trying to increase sales. I was felt like I was in a stride where I was just like, okay, I got the listing down. I've got the inventory down. I've got my bases covered. All it's about now is just sourcing and selling. And that's what I was really concentrating on. I was getting into click through rate, sell through rate. And I was really studying on what I can do to make things better for my business. Well, I got kicked hard um, and back to the basics with just these random mistakes that I made throughout in just a seven, uh, 10 day period. I mean, like I had seven uh, just bad things. I mean, it was just loss of profit. I mean, I had to do cancellations. I had to do four straight up refunds. Um, it was bad, <laughs> you know, like that was really bad. Um, it was, I mean, I swapped shipping labels on one item. I sent the wrong item to somebody. I had an item that sold that was just not a good item that should not have been in my store. I had two items that I misrepresented in my listings because I just listed them incorrectly. Like I just had just the common things wrong. You know what I mean? Because I was in a hurry, I guess. And I even had an item where the item broke in my storage while it was sitting in storage. And I had to cancel the order because the item was broken when I got it. And these obviously are not the kind of mistakes that you can keep making and run a good successful eBay business. So I had to do whatever I could do to address it. And something I was already kind of in the process of thinking about kind of heavily was um, kind of a, basically like an individual, I wanted to do the individual SKU number system where instead of me just having my items just be like in bin A and I go dig through bin A to find an item, I wanted all my items to be individually numbered so they would be findable, you know, on more than just looking in the item bin physically. I wanted something to keep it, you know, better. Um, and that kind of got into, well, I want a barcode system because a barcode system would be great once you have over a certain amount of items. And right now I'm at a 900 item level and I want to get to my store to be like, you know, two, 3000 items because I like the idea of like volume selling not necessarily kind of chasing after super high profits and trying to chase after super high end items all the time, but being able to kind of sell things like at a like slow kind of steady rate, but then just be able to sell so freaking much. Um, I just got to kind of dial in that profit window that I'm looking for and see what I can do that works for me. But anyway, so I've implemented, I've implemented a barcode system into my store. Uh, I've had a lot of help this week from my mom. She's been over here helping me go through my bins and basically put SKU numbers on everything. And I'll show you what we've been doing. So this is a small bin that I have. Most of my bins are like these yellow black ones that I got from Sam's. Uh, these are 27 gallon bins. I have about 20, 28 of those um, in another room. But I have a couple of bins that are like this, which are these are just these small whatever size bins they are and i keep a lot of the small items here this is a perfect one to pull out throw on my workbench and show you what i got going on so i purchased this cheap little barcode scanner from amazon it is a netum it does uh 2d barcodes and 3d barcodes so that be just basically means that it can do these like flat barcodes like this but then i also could do uh qr codes which i will utilize because i have qr codes i'm going to put qr codes in all my bins so this now, so this will actually have a QR code that just says bin one when I scan it. And that'll basically be something I can scan items into my system in and out, hopefully. But right now, all these items now are individually bagged and they have these individual barcodes on them that I can, you know, scan into my system. And I can just have more information of where they're at and it just makes things a bit more digital and as more redundancies so things just don't you know i don't make as many mistakes now i've made these barcodes myself um I, it just starts with the rh i hope that's in focus and you can read it um uh, it starts with the rh and then it's a number and it's just the number that goes up from one one million to nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine that's how many numbers i could potentially have with this system um, if I ever run out, I'll just put a, an extra placeholder or something, but, um, it just makes things a lot easier. So like what I would normally have going on with like, see for instance, like these hot wheel cars, I would typically just have all these like in a bag. And when I sold something, I had to pull that bag out of the bin here. And then I would dig through that bag to find the specific hot wheel car I was looking for. But like, 
I pulled these out as an example of like if you're just looking in the bins and you're trying to find this car the potentiality for you to grab the wrong one and send the wrong one like it's pretty real if you're in a hurry i mean you know best case scenario obviously that wouldn't happen but if you're in a hurry and something's going on and you happen just to grab the wrong one that's a potential like you know eight to ten dollar loss depending on what this sells for and how much you got to refund and shipping and it just had to deal with it i mean like and that would honestly that that would consume the profits of like two more of these so you really can't afford to make too many mistakes whenever you're doing that so with everything being barcoded the way it is i'm hoping that will again eliminate as many potential mistakes as possible so i'm going to take you over to my screen here and i'm going to show you kind of a little demo of how it's supposed to work um and it's going to look a little rough because i'm just going to record the screen and it's going to look terrible excuse the mess around my desk um but what we're looking at right here is my sales log which is linked to this inventory log which basically has every item that i when i bring things in i'll log them into this inventory they'll receive the individual SKU with the barcode and i'll input their cost of good i'll input the list price that i'm going to potentially list it for because i use i'll use this as a research page so whenever i go to look items up and see what they're worth i can get an idea of what i want to list it for and i'll input this so then when i create the listings i don't have to go back and look up prices i can just go off my research that i did and separate that step from my listing so that's why i'm starting doing this and then i got the where from and then these two green columns are now automated uh the green column here is the sold date and this is the sold price so when i input the sold date and sold price from the sales log that automatically populates the columns on this so that'll give me you know, I can compare that with the date that it listed in this blue column, and then I can figure out how long it took to sell an item. I can figure out, you know, um, I, I could use the form, I can create formulas to do a lot of good with that. And there's just a lot of things I could do with it. But anyway, so on the sales log here, how I have this set up is for instance, like I got my item, it's sitting out, and imagine like if I had like 10 of these going out a day, I could sit here and just scan that. That inputs the barcode for me and then inputs the name of the item and also inputs the cost of good. So all I got to do is then go back over here and I could double click this and it pulls up a little calendar and that gives me the date so I can put the date it sold and then I can put the sale price, platform fee, ad fee, shipping cost. This green column does the calculations, figure out how much I made and then that information goes all the way over back to the inventory log. So when I come over here, it will now show up over here that I've sold that item, when I sold it, and how much I sold it for. So, I don't know if I went overkill trying to fix my problems, but I felt like this was the kind of store I eventually wanted to evolve into. And like, I'm not gonna lie, it feels freaking amazing to like scan items like a, like a Walmart or something and, you know, have them recordable somewhere besides it just being on eBay. And honestly, my bookkeeping was just a poor, you know, rotted limb of my business because it's just not my forte but this makes it a whole lot more fun for me it keeps things a lot more digital and it takes more off my brain so i'm not constantly thinking where i have items at i'm not worried about you know it's just more information that i can unload out of my brain and concentrate more on the sourcing doing things not you know trying to do things correctly and then letting that process be a bit more automated and just hopefully making things better so if you're interested in learning more about what my barcode system is like, how I have it set up, some of the formulas that I'm using in my sheet, uh, the hardware that I'm using, whatever, leave a comment. Uh, I'd love to talk more about it because I'm freaking, I'm like, I've impressed myself with this because I didn't like, I didn't realize you could just do this. This is just a thing you can do. You know what I mean? Like it's not reserved for Walmart and uh, you know, Target and stuff like that. You could just do this with your own store and it's pretty freaking cool. So if you got any questions about it, uh, let me know in the comments. If you like this video, uh, shoot me a like and consider subscribing. Um, I'd appreciate it. I just started out here on YouTube, so my videos are going to be a little rough, but I'm um, just putting them out there and seeing how they go. So anyway, see you guys in the next one.